Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final week of our seven week journey through the chakra system. And we've arrived to the seventh major chakra, which is Sahasrara, the crown chakra. And this one is quite important as it taps into divinity, to this sense of wholeness. We're connecting the spiritual realm with earth, with the material, real world that we live in. And when it's open and free-flowing and energy is free-flowing through our chakra, our crown chakra, then we're able to merge both the spiritual realm and this earthly 3D world. We're able to manifest and bring that energy down to all the other chakras so that we have, we are in right relationship with the world around us, we're taking the right action, and we're truly living our dharma, living our purpose, and we have that direction. So when we're in excess, and the energy in this chakra is in excess, then we may feel disconnected from our bodies, we may be too intellectualized. And then on the other flip side, we have apathy. Um, we have very rigid belief systems. We're not very open-minded. So again, when we're in balance, we're having this, we're in a sense of wholeness. A word that comes to mind is integration and unity, right? There's this purity in your being and in your aura that emanates, that um, that understanding, you have an understanding of um, because you are open and conscious of everything that's going on around you and you you have this sense of peace because you know that you have guides, you have a higher power that is always here to support you along your path, along this human experience. That's kind of beautiful. So today it's going to be very short the physical pressing itself because really the invitation the best practice arguably is meditation it's stillness it's silence so we'll we'll end with um, a bit of a longer seated meditation but we'll go through a couple asana poses to stimulate and awaken the crown chakra and bring more awareness and attention towards it through movement and then we'll finish in stillness no props are needed for this practice a soft surface, or your mat. So we will begin in Tadasana. So in our Tadasana, we're starting in mountain pose. And here really the essence for this pose today is that we're grounding into earth. You spread your toes out wide and then ground them. We're grounding on all four corners of our feet, so feeling ourselves deeply connected to Mother Earth. We're growing from there on up, aligning your body, engaging your thighs, standing strong and tall in this position. It's a great position for your posture. We're lengthening through the crown of the head, so we're reaching that Sahasra Chakra up towards the sky. I'm just going to take a moment here as we close our eyes to find our grounding, to find our center and balance. And begin to visualize this beautiful, energetic, transparent line. Just running in front of your body and back. And connecting to the base of your spine and up to the crown of your head. This beautiful cycle. Standing nice and tall, firmly grounded, connecting spirit to the divine, connecting yourself to earth. And here we're going to take a mudra called a thousand lotus mudra. Look at the screen for two seconds. Your thumbs will be touching, your index will be touching, and all your other fingers are spread out wide, palms facing forward. And we're just going to place this about six inches or a couple centimeters over top of your head. And this activates our crown chakra, connecting us to universal consciousness. 
Again, we're merging the limitless and the limited. Emerging spiritual and material. And our mantra that will guide us on our practice. You can repeat it internally in our mind's eye or out loud as you wish. I am a child of light. Divinity lies within me. I am a child of light. Divinity lies within me. Just noticing how those words vibrate in your being, allowing them to settle as we release the mudra. Bring your hands towards your sides, palms facing forward at this time. Coming into our first sequence. As we inhale, reaching the arms up, looking up with my gaze as I grow nice and tall. Urdhasthasana. Exhale, slight bend of the knees as I come down, touching the earth with my hands. Uttanasana. Let's stay here. Pedaling out one knee at a time, walking on the spot. Pointing the crown down to earth. And noticing in these positions where the crown is pointing. Earth and sky. Merging both of these worlds into one. Creating wholeness and unity. Inhale at this time, halfway lengthen. Flatten the back, rise on your tippy fingers. Exhale, bend both knees. Let's step back into our plank position. Holding our plank, engaging the core. Feeling nice and strong. Pulling the kneecaps up, shoulders above the wrists. Very nice. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing down. Find that sense of grounding for yourself as you point the crown towards the earth, looking back with your gaze or keeping your eyes closed, inviting a lot of introspection throughout these couple of asanas that we'll be doing. Again, remembering that unity, that wholeness, inviting that peace and realizing that you are divine, that there is nothing wrong with you. You're not broken. You're not something that needs to be fixed. Can you rest in this knowing and remember who you are, a child of light? Very nice. Looking through the top of the mat, take as many steps as you need to walk yourself back. Stretching the hamstrings along the way. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Slide the hands on the shins. Look forward. Navel to the spine, shoulders back. Exhale, Uttanasana. This time you can take ragdoll if you'd like to allow more of the upper body release. Bending slightly through the knees, grabbing onto opposite elbows. Swaying gently from left to right. Adding yeses and noes with your head, just releasing any tension here. Very nice. Slowly releasing the elbows, bending through the knees, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, shoulders and head come up last. Coming back into our Tadasana, heel toe, your feet together. Palms facing forward. Finding that balance. Finding that connection to earth and growing tall, allowing yourself to expand as we inhale. 
Arms come to the side and up. Grow nice and tall. Allow yourself to expand up to the sky. Urvastasana. Exhale, palms together. Dive yourself back down. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lengthen, growing through a little Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, bend both knees, step the right foot back. Runner's lunge, chest forward. Inhale, step the left foot back into your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, Ashtangasana, variation of Chaturanga. Inhale, coming to your belly, rise to cobra, bending through your elbows, pointing back. Exhale, child's pose, widen the knees, mat width apart, big toes touching around the forehead. Soften your breath. Relax your jaw. Inhale, roll yourself back to table talk. Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg steps top of the mat. Looking forward, runner's lunge. Exhale, right foot forward. Uttanasana, standing forward, forward. At this time, looking forward, arms forward as you guide yourself up, powering through the legs with a flat back. All the way up, slight arch of the back, pelvis comes forward, exhale, hands to heart, samasthiti, going directly to the other side, just warming up a little bit. Inhale, bend the knees, unfurl your body, look up, expand the sky. Exhale, bow down to Mother Earth, the crown reaches towards her core. Inhale, half lengthen. Exhale, bend both knees, big step back with the left foot, ground the fingers, look forward. Inhale, ground the hands, step back into your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chins, elbows pointing back. Inhale, rise into cobra. Exhale, coming into our child's pose, two breaths here. Breathe into your belly. Mujai breath. Elongate your exhale. On your exhale, rolling yourself back, tabletop, tuck the toes downward. Inhale, right foot steps top of the mat. Ground both fingers on each side of your front foot. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, rise with a flat back, arms forward, gaze forward and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, coming back down. Inhale, halfway down. Exhale, this time, bend both knees, step back with the right foot. Lower the right knee down, getting ready for a low lunge. Rising up to our low lunge, growing nice and tall with those arms. Feeling nice and solid with our lower body. Option to tuck or untuck your back foot. And here, challenge your balance, look up. We trust our lower body. We look up the sky, to the infinite possibilities that lie for us. Creating Padma Mudra, thumbs together, pinkies together, spreading the fingers to each side. Symbolism of purity, the lotus mudra, rising from our muck to the beautiful, imperfect human being that we are. Very nice. Slowly bringing the mudra down to your heart, closing all the fingers so that they're all touching seed mudra, tucking your back foot, raising your back knee off the mat into our crescent lunge, planting the seed of love into your heart. Transitioning at this time, shifting your weight to the left foot. Bring that right knee up. 
the chest. Balancing here, growing those roots in the left foot. And at this time, grab onto the right ankle with your right hand, placing the right foot to the inner thigh or below the knee coming into tree. Hands can stay to heart center, or I can play with my arms now. Again, trusting the lower body and just feeling into this expression for this pose for myself today. Take a Gyan Mudra if I'd like. I can take Lotus Mudra over top of my head and see what resonates with you. Find your Drishti. At this time, release the foot from the thigh. Inhale, bring the knee back up. And on the exhale, let's open that right foot out to the side. Step to the length of your mat. Pivot the front foot so that they're parallel, slightly pigeon toe, getting ready for our parasarita. Wide legged forward fold. Inhale, I reach my arms up. Exhale, I hinge from my hips. I come all the way down, trying to reach the crown of the head towards the mat. My hands come aligned with my feet, elbows pointing back. I'm looking to the back. I'm breathing gently here. Bringing blood and fresh oxygen towards my brain. Towards that cerebral cortex allows us to make right decisions, engage our creativity, our creative problem solving, the widened lens of our brain, biggest area of our brain. Very nice. Inhale at this time, halfway lengthen, rise on my tippy finger. Exhale. I'm going to pivot myself so I'm facing the front. Grounding on both hands at this time. And step back into my downward facing dog. And what we're going to do here is take our dolphin. So coming down to my forearms, interlace your fingers. You make a triangle. And I'm grounding or trying to point my crown towards the mat. And I'm looking back, lifting the hips up. Great position to prepare for a headstand. Strengthen the shoulders. Really feel into that. Navel coming into the spine, sucking that belly button into the spine, creating a bit more space. Very nice. At this time, looking to your hands, releasing back onto your hands into your downward facing dog, taking a vinyasa here. Inhale, roll yourself into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Or if you like, you can take your full chaturanga vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, your, your option. <laughs> Exhale, rise to your knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. Looking forward, take as many steps as you'd like to come to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Go a bit deeper. Inhale, rise with a flat back. Read up, exhale, hands to heart, samasita. Right away, inhale, reach up, urdhvastasana, grow nice and tall. Exhale, dab yourself down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend both knees, this time step back with the left foot. Lower that left knee down. When you find that balance, rise up into your low lunge.
Taking your lotus mudra at this time, the thumbs are connected, pinkies connected, and the rest of the fingers are spread apart. Looking up, challenge your balance. Connect to the lotus, your own unique lotus. Looking forward, closing the lotus, all fingers touch, bring it towards your heart, tuck your back foot. Lift your back knee, crescent lunge. Planting the seed of love and kindness and compassion in your own heart. Shifting the weight towards the right foot. Left knee comes up, getting ready for tree pose on the other side. Grounding through the right foot. Grabbing onto the left ankle, placing it anywhere on top or below the knee. Open the left knee to the side. Hands can stay in your seed mudra at your heart center or grow the branches nice and tall. Your own beautiful expression of a perfectly imperfect tree. Taking your gyan mudra, if you like, connecting your thumb to your index fingers, spreading the other fingers. Very nice. Inhale, that left knee points forward. Bring that knee back up. And on your exhale, you're going to step back, open up to the length side. I'm just going to switch so that you can see me. Hit the, the front foot so that you're back into a wide-legged stance. Clasping the hands behind your back, interlacing the finger. Different variation here. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, slight micro bend of the knees as you bend from the hips, hinging from the hips, and then coming back down into our prasarita, padottanasana. Pressing into the outside of the feet. Crown of the head points down to the earth. We open our shoulders with this added interlacing of the fingers here. Very nice. As I inhale, I rise halfway, releasing the hands coming onto my fingertips. On my exhale, the top foot pivots so that I'm from in the front, pivoting back to the front of the mat. Grounding both hands, step back into my downward facing dog, taking dolphin. Second time, coming onto my forearms, interlacing my fingers, walking my feet a little bit closer, seeing if I'm creating a little bit more space here. My gaze is to the back, my crown of the head is pointing down. And again, inviting introspective awareness of this pose and how it feels, just closing your eyes, tuning into the quality of your breath, the areas of your body that feel restricted, the those that are starting to expand on your breath. Very nicely release, bring yourself back into your downward facing dog. That this time we're going to take a nice harp opener, slowly lowering down to your knees, getting ready for stress in our camel, rising to the knees. Tucking your back toes here, inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, I'm going to start reaching for my ankles. As I push my pelvis forward and my sternum forward, here I am. And maybe my gaze is forward, that's okay for my neck. Maybe it's up, or maybe it's to the back. Opening the chest. Opening through ah. the heart, shining your own light. Ah. Mm. Slowly coming out of the pose, hand on the sacrum, tuck the chin, look forward, and then we're going to slowly come down to our heels. 
And we're going to take just a little twist before we take a counter pose. So inhale, both arms come up in this hero's pose. Exhale, left hand to the outside of the right, right hand to the back, align with your spine, looking over the right. And switching sides, inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, looking over the left. Right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh. Left hand behind you. Standing nice and tall. Inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale, you twist. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, taking our rabbit at this time, grabbing the soles of your feet. Coming onto the crown of the head, separate the upper back, tucking the toes underneath you. It's as if you're creating this balloon between your thighs and your chest, your earth and the chest, rounding up the spine. So your crown of the head is just lightly touching the mat here. You don't need all the weight to be on the mat. Very nice. And slowly rounding back up. And we're going to meet for a little meditation here. Just finding your comfortable seat in the center of your mat. You can sit halfway on a block on a bolster, grab a little blanket, make yourself comfortable. Taking Yan Mudra, thumb is touching the index finger, either fingers are spread apart, palms are facing up, just allowing. Top of your hand to rest on your thigh, growing tall with your spine. Visualizing a lotus, thousand petaled lotus at this time, the crown of your head hovering just above your head, ever unfolding and watching as the petals turn downwards and dropping nectar, divine, pure, blissful nectar into the crown of the head, down through all your chakras. As you inhale, you see the lotus shine bright. As you exhale, you see the dripping of this nectar seep down through the crown to your third eye, awakening and activating your intuition. Inhale, see this beautiful lotus in its white light. Exhale, watch the dribbling of the nectar seep down towards your throat. Vishuddha Chakra, activating and awakening your authentic expression, your speech, your voice. Inhale, seeing the beautiful lotus in its bright white light. Exhale, watching the dribble of nectar come down through the crown all the way to the heart center, Anahata Chakra. Infusing your heart with love, with harmony and balance. Unconditional love. Inhale, seeing this beautiful white light the crown of your head. Exhale, watching as this nectar comes down through the crown, all the way down to Manipura Chakra, your solar plexus, your navel center. Activating, awakening your willpower, your confidence, your ability to take action. 
Inhale, seeing this beautiful lotus just above the crown of your head. As you exhale, visualizing the nectar seeping through the chakras all the way to Swadhisthana Chakra, towards your womb center, the sacral chakra. Activating and awakening your pleasure, your sensuality, your creative potential energy, your joy, passion. Inhale, visualizing your beautiful lotus. And as you exhale, the nectar gently is guided down all the way to the base of your spine, to your root chakra, Muradhara. Activating and awakening your sense of belonging and safety, surrounding you into Mother Earth providing you with a solid foundation on which you rise. Noticing yourself in wholeness, connecting to the divinity within you, connecting to your wholeness, aligning yourself and integrating all the energetic centers in your being. Feeling at peace, knowing that is nothing to fix. You are not broken. You are inherently whole and perfect. I am a child of light. Divinity lies within me. I am a child of light. Divinity lies within me. There is no separation. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need, as long as you like. However, if you need to get on with your day, at least start to add movements, releasing the mudra, Wiggling your fingers, breathing nice and deeply, and gently guiding yourself out, fluttering your eyes open to your space. Hands to heart center, Nandali Mudra, the symbolism of gratitude, for taking the time today for this peaceful and beautiful practice. Thank you, thank you, friends, for being here for today's practice, for this journey. Feel free to look at them again and again. I will add in some notes in the description for practices and reflection and a little bit more for your own integration. I'll also share my favorite book that has guided me along this journey and that really has helped me. I highly recommend it to you. I'll add that in the description as well. Here, and thank you. Namaste.